Hi guys, so um, welcome to the Christmas guitar lessons at Mount St. Mary's. Um, I've made six videos for you, three backing tracks and three of these lesson videos to accompany them. Um, this is going to be slightly different to normal. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do the, the double camera images that I usually do and sound wise, it's all a little bit different. Hopefully this is still good enough quality for you to, to know what's going on. Uh, a short story is that basically my my cat decided to trash my laptop um, and lots of my equipment at the same in the same move um, by tipping a massive glass of water all over it whilst I was out of the room so my fault for leaving water near the laptop but um, that's damaged a lot of stuff so I am now recording you on my phone um, using some like, very boring story but there's lots of lots of things that I'm plugged into to try and make it sound okay. So um, you have to bear with us today. Hopefully you'll still be able to see my fingers and see where I'm asking you to go. That's why I'm sort of slightly closer to the camera. Um, so we're gonna have a go at Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. All right, um, I've picked the three songs today because they're quite simple Christmas songs. So any of you hopefully within reason can grab a guitar and you know, sing away. Um, so uh, there's two main sections to Rudolph uh, I'd like you to play along with the version that I've made you but obviously you can sing along to the original as well you probably don't even need a backing track to do Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer hopefully you don't it's a good song so um, the first section part one um, which isn't labeled on the video okay unfortunately in the play along video I can't label parts using the, the stuff that I'm using at the moment because it's very basic so you have to learn the parts in this video and then put them together. Just watch the entire play along video so you'll see what happens when. Okay, hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so part one, I'm just looking at my chord sheet here. So yeah, part one, we've got an A chord, an E chord, an E7, and that's it. We go back to A. So I'm gonna show you it. Strumming pattern wise, it's entirely up to you. I'm gonna show you a very basic strumming pattern and you can jazz it up as you like. If you've watched any of my previous videos, um, there's loads of examples of other ways to strum in those. So if you haven't, check them out, then you might get a few ideas. Okay, so I'm gonna play part one for you first of all, and then we'll try it. Okay, so that actually happens twice. So you, once you've learned this part, just play it again. Um, you'll hear that in the, in the play along video. So we're starting with an A chord. So to do this, you need to put your first finger on the second fret fourth string, your second finger on the second fret third string, and your third finger on the second fret second string. All right, we're playing this from the fifth string down like this. Okay, you might have noticed one of my lights died then. So, uh, yeah, you can see everything's breaking around me today. It's not great. Okay, so rhythm-wise, ju I just want you to strum this three lots of four. Okay, so 12 times, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, like I say, if you want to jazz that up, you can do. As long as you fit within the same rhythm, the same time, it's fine. Okay. I'm just going for basic today though because I want it to be accessible for all. Okay, so that's your first chord, your A chord. I would practice that. Make sure your fingers are nice and you know squeezed into that one fret, which isn't easy for me. I've got fairly chunky hands, so if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, next of all, we're going to go to an E chord. So to do this, you need to put your first finger on the first fret third string, your second finger on the second fret fifth string, and your third finger on the second fret fourth string. We're strumming all the strings and we're just gonna strum them four times down this, like this. Okay, so to put the two chords together, we've got A, three lots round. And E. Okay, I know I'm moving through this fairly quickly. I'm just aware that I, we're five minutes in already and I don't want to completely take up all your time. So um, please slow that down, practice it, pause the video here. 
Okay, next of all, you have an E7 chord. E7's pretty easy, because you just play an E with a chord that we just played. Take your third finger off. Okay, and we're playing three lots of four here. And then back to A, one lot of four. That's part one. I'm gonna show you that much slower, okay? So we've got A for three lots of four, E for one lot of four, E7 for three lots of four, and A for one lot of four. Here we go, this is what you should have. Okay, that's part one. That happens uh, again, so you just repeat the exact same part. So, pause the video here, have a practice of that, and when you're ready, come and join me for part two, which will happen now. Okay, so, part two. The chords are, I'm just looking at my chord chart, we've got D for one lot of four, A for one lot of four, E for one lot of four, A for one lot of four, B7, which I'll show you for three lots of four, and then E for one lot of four. Okay, then you go right back to part one. So D, first of all, we have done this previously, but if you're not, if you've not seen those videos, this is what you should have. First finger on the second fret third string, second finger on the second fret first string, and third finger on the third fret second string. We're strumming it from the fourth string down, and as I've said before, just one lot of four, like this. Okay, then you're going over to your A, which we played in part one. Okay, so that's first finger on the second fret fourth string, second finger on the second fret third string, and third finger on the second fret second string. Play it from the fifth string down, and just for one lot of four. So we've gone D, D, Then we're moving over to E for four. Okay, so E is first finger on the first fret third string, second finger on the second fret fifth string, and third finger on the second fret fourth string. You're strumming all your strings. Same chord we played in part one. Okay, for four, like this. So we've gone D for four, A for four, E for four. Right, that takes us over to B7. All right, I'm just looking at my chord chart here. Okay, uh, B7 goes like this. So first finger on the first fret fourth string, second finger on the second fret fifth string, third finger on the second fret third string, and fourth finger on the second fret first string. You don't play a sixth string, so you strum it from the fifth string down. <laughs> And that's going to be for four lots of three, so 12 strums, like this. Okay, so we've just gone D, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, B, seven, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. And then you're going back to E for four strums. And that's part two. So that's all you need to know to be able to play along with our play along video. I'm just going to play the whole of part two for you. Okay, so um, as I say, hopefully you've paused this video when you need to. Have, have fun with it, play along, and have a great Christmas, okay? So, all right, guys, have fun with that, and I will see you in the next video.